India will be setting up a urea factory in Iran. The gas-based plant is proposed to be built in Chabahar. New Delhi has also agreed to provide Tehran with additional financial aid to develop the Chabahar port. Importantly, the Indian government wants this plant to be ready within a few months. India's increased engagement in Iran is in total disregard to the US-led economic sanctions. India so far has been steadfast uh, because India's uh, strategic interests are also located in that region with Afghanistan, with the Central Asian republics. Uh, so it's a very, very complex situation and I don't think India can really back away any more than it already has over the last uh, 10 or 11 months. There is a big shortage of natural gas in India. Many gas-based fertilizer plants are functioning at reduced capacity. Every year, India imports 20 to 30 percent of its urea requirement. From Iran itself, 1.6 million tons of urea was imported last year. The move is also seen as a rebuff by New Delhi to the Western powers. Even if the EU and the US do want to put more pressure, which I don't frankly think they do, um, I think uh, this is as good or as uh, bad as it gets. And I don't think India is likely to come under more pressure. New Delhi is putting in investments in various infrastructure and other developmental projects with a view to challenge Beijing's growing influence in the region. Pakistan's Gwadar port, which is less than 100 kilometers from Iran's Chabahar port, is almost taken over by the Chinese. One part of the port is going to be a naval base and that will give the Chinese a huge presence in the region. India will soon be looking for a joint venture partner in Iran. The price of gas for the new plant also needs to be negotiated. The subject is likely to be discussed during Indian Foreign Minister Salman Khurshid's visit to Tehran next month. Analysts say India is making its priorities clear. It will do whatever it takes to ensure that sanctions imposed by Western nations on Iran in no way affect its energy requirements. Sanjay Sethi, Press TV. New Delhi.